Okay, I'm back, and we're going to go into Jamovi. So, and let's go ahead and move that part. I'm cleaning this up. Let's go up to our empty of Nova, right click, and go remove. Okay, so field um, gave a, a way to calculate an effect size from SPSS output. And you'll notice that our output does not include the same sum of squares tables that, um, that SPSS does. Um, probably be better if they include those tables at some point. Um, but I guess in their defense, um, the information directly off those tables, uh, this is a summary of the important information that you would pull out. And I have to tell you, it was kind of a challenge uh, figuring out which parts of those tables to pay attention to as a new student because there's a lot of numbers in there and it made it kind of confusing so i guess count your blessings that we're using jamovi and you don't have to sort through that whole table but this did not give us an effect size so i did check out um this other option if you go to anova and the regular anova and you can see here we have the choice for some effect size. So um, the one that I really was trained with ANOVA to use is this partial eta squared. Um, but we can calculate this omega squared, um, which uh, field does. So we're going to go ahead and get both of those. And uh, Dose is our grouping variable that goes in this fixed factor box. Happiness is our dependent variable. That's the continuous one and that goes there. And you can see on this table of output that now we have this partial eta squared and this omega squared. Um, I would probably report the partial eta squared. That's what I was trained to report, but um, field um, reports this omega, and we have omega squared. And in his book, in section 12.1, um, in fact, maybe I'll put this in this assignment. Um, Um, to see that um, and let's go ahead and use our R window in Jamovi and calculate omega from our omega squared so we know omega squared is 0.354 so let's go to R and RJ editor and comes up with this sample for the data set and I don't care about that and we know we can do a square root in R by doing SQRT and um, there's our omega squared still showing on our table 0.354 and if we run that and uh, let's go ahead and switch this to output show code and output so there's our square root and we get 0.5949 and um, in section 12.10 in field um, you'll see that he has an omega of 0.6 so we get the same result he does so um, if I were going to go into my um,
my results and um, you could give the omega like he does let's just say or a partial eta squared um, which would be the 0.46 and um, that's a pretty big effect size as he notes um, so um, that's that's uh, good so uh, that pretty much I think um, we have this so you'd want to save this text file with all your answers you want to file save as whoops not probably not where I want it to be file save as and um, browse and we will go to our um, we're here in our um, I'll probably change this from puppies to week seven Put my name week seven and save that and uh, then you should want to turn in your OMV file and your assignment answer sheet uh, for this week's assignment. All right, guys, I hope you have a good week, and I will see you in office hours. Bye.